Good evening. Welcome back to Slice and Dice. Uh, I'm actually just gonna do a. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick little like set it to full screen before I do anything else. There we go. I can see what's going on now. Uh, we're gonna do a little easy mode run. Oh. Hold, please. <laughs> What? When did I unlock some green heroes? I'm I'm very confused. Blurst. Kill the hand to unlock that. Who is the hand? Or what's the hand? I don't remember doing any of this stuff. Gong. Oh, it's one of my favorite monsters to or bosses to fight. That's a fun one. Baron. Okay, yeah, do any 50 achievements. Unlocks a hero color green. And, okay. This is new. So in the previous version of the game, uh, it was just orange, yellow, gray, red, blue. So green. Yo, they moved statue to green. So this, oh, this tells me these are all just gonna be like really weird characters. A, a die? I don't want to, like, spoil myself on any of these. What? On, like, a shovel is a character? I'm so confused. I'm assuming we can only get these if we pick a mode that has these specifically. Alright, what's the cat do? Just a house cat? Oh, but I guess that's tier 1, right? So then these would be tier 2s and these would be tier 3s. Oh... Very interesting. So the thing that catches my attention is like the statue. Oh, and is this the the mimic? The yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. The statue and the mimic used to just be uh, gray characters. And just at a glance, I don't recognize any of these others. <laughs> so they became their own color. They they were also. Uh, I don't know why I'm hovering over this guy. This is what the statue used to look like. Not, not like this, but just like all gray. Here it's got like moss on it. I guess that's why it's a green hero now. Um, these two used to just be gray, but I they're like particularly difficult and obnoxious to play as. <laughs> so I guess that's why they got moved to their own color. So I'm expecting these are all going to be gimmicky just from that. That's very interesting. So did they move... Prince, that's cool. Huh, they might have either removed or moved to green the twins. Have a hundred hero deaths. Pick Dabbler twice. Are those the only other heroes we have not unlocked yet? It looks like it. I don't wanna I don't wanna spoil myself on anything else on like monsters or anything. Alright, we're doing an easy one. Oh, we're just going to do basic. We're just going to do basic. I'm just going for, like, a basic, easy victory. A, because we haven't done it. B, because I don't want to spend another, like, four hours playing this game. I got I get stuff to do. Mostly, it, it is, like, very late in the day, and I actually need to go to bed, but I should be recording Animal Crossing. We're doing this instead. So, top... The top two level up. So, we just start with two level two heroes? Or we get level two versions of these two? I don't know. All of the most HP enemies start poisoned for two poison. That's really potent. Oh, these are tier six blessings. These are level fives. First spell you cast each fight is free. Each fight. Okay, we get one free spell per fight. That's cool. Uh, blessing raised to the ten. Before fight nine, you get a tier 10 blessing. Honestly, like, I don't know what tier 10 blessings are going to be. They seem... Th these seem really strong, so I'm sure it's going to be crazy strong. We could easily do nine fights 
with no blessing and <laughs> no curses. I'm just curious what our options are going to be. All right, that's perfect. So what do we have? We have the thief. Very good. Brigand. Uh, I don't like the exert damage. I really don't. The wallop, who is like one of my favorites. Um, Acolyte, so restore, heal one to everybody. Uh, these are cleanses, which is very good. Normally, generally speaking. Like, we can cleanse the petrify we're getting from the thorn, except that I'm going to kill the thorn, so that's not an issue. Uh, and then the student. Yeah, we've, we've seen most, if not all, of these before. Um, like, that's probably fine. Just get some damage on this thing. Sure. That doesn't do anything for us, but whatever. Range damage, so we don't have to worry about the thorn. Uh, I guess save the thief. <sighs> it's been a pretty long day of not, like, engaging my brain, you know? You know those days at work where it's like, it's just a lot of meetings. It's like a lot of meetings. And I didn't really have a lot of stuff to like think about, you know? So what are we doing, five damage? Yeah, okay, so we, we have won this fight already. Anyway, I've just been like craving uh, something to like use my brain on, you know? Just something to make thinky brain think. Monster wands. Add single use and plus one pip to all monster sides. That's fascinating because the longer the fight goes on, the less they'll be able to do things. However, they're just getting plus one pip to everything they do. That'd be really useful, like, in later fights, like, bosses and stuff. Ugh. Plus one pip. I mean, yeah, let's let's try it. <laughs> this might be a terrible idea. Um, Scrapper. I wish I could see how often I've picked them here. Pray. Heal and shield one to all dying allies. Deplete, so it costs one more mana for the fight every time we do it. Scrapper Priestess. I don't... Have we taken Priestess? I am going to look these up just because I, I don't know how many we've taken. I should also look at, like, what they look like. Let's go look at Priestess. We have chosen her the one time that we've seen her. Okay, that's the Scrapper. This one. We've seen him three times, now four, and we've chosen him once. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll take the scrapper again. That's fine. Okay, well. <laughs> uh, interesting. So we can keep one person alive. Honestly, we might just need to, like, kill one of these bees. A stun would also be okay on you. Okay, well... This is, uh, this is gonna be a spicy one. This is gonna be maybe a nasty run. When we start leveling people up and get more HP, then I think we'll be okay. Uh, also, if we had, like, more, like, like the, our gray, our wallop, uh, cool character concept does not actually provide much protection for the party. 
kind of in like a literal sense of being able to stun a thing on occasion. But like, boy, that just didn't do enough. Like somebody who had like a cleaving shield or we could target shields or something more reliable than a stun which can't hit the back line and doesn't work on things with high HP and et cetera, et cetera. It would be nice right about now. The stun gets really useful, you know, later on as we've seen in other videos, other runs. Um, Necromancer Tome. You can cast spells from defeated heroes, replace the left side with gain three mana and pain. Probably a no on that one. Replace the middle side with heal seven. I like that's a big heal. That's a really big heal. Like nobody has that much HP right now. I'll, I'll take the big heart. It's probably better to have more healing options since we're going to be taking a lot more damage. Perfect. <laughs> uh, Alright, whatever. So we need to take out one of the goblins and the wolf. I'm going to go for the wolf first. I think that's the nastier enemy here. Oh, and we can just do that. Perfect. You know, I'm, uh, I'm really looking forward to whenever we actually get the blessing. <laughs> That'll be nice when it happens. It'll be very nice when it happens. Oh man, Faye is like just too good not to take. Faye is so good. Monk would also be very good. But it's so, so hard not to take Faye. And then I guess I don't really care about the heart on you. Uh, but then, like, you're losing all your mana. Alright. Okay, that's ideal. Those are both very good. That's good. This is great. That's not great. Getting too weakening on the troll so that he just doesn't hit us very much? That's awesome. Someday we're going to roll an X on a thing that we've fought. Someday. I believe. And that'll feel great when it happens. <laughs> um, do I want to boost somebody? Not particularly. That's lame. Whoops, didn't mean to actually do that. I forget what circle does. Adds heal to allied sides this turn. Oh, self heal. And it's once per fight. Okay. That will actually help keep us alive. So that's not bad. Come on, one and three. Come on, give me the X. Yes, it happened. Justified. <laughs> Oops, don't take that. Actually, don't take that either. I 
I guess I didn't actually need the weekend, so it doesn't really matter that much. We'll kill the troll with the weakening attack. All right. Learn Remedy. Heal one, cleanse, single cast, cost one. Worn arms. Worn arms would be good for the student or the thief. Because right now they're just not doing anything. So, blind. We cannot just tank that much damage, unfortunately. Yo, but we could just stun the blind? I don't know if that means he won't leave, though. And ogres are nasty because they get stronger. So we could do like this and, and like weaken... So ideally... Here's what I'm thinking. Ideally, we'd be able to get the ogre low. Stun the blind this turn. Next turn, stun the ogre, let blind attack, and then let blind leave. Alternatively, maybe we just kill the blind so that we survive this turn. Because <laughs> this is kind of rough. Four or five. So we could just kill it. It'll still leave, maybe. Yes. Okay. Good to know. I didn't. I didn't think that would work. Okay. Something like that. So I know I just made it stronger. But I still think that's okay. This is interesting. It's making me engage more of my brain muscles than I was expecting. So that's good. don't have enough healing to make the stun worthwhile. Is the boost worthwhile? I don't know. Maybe. It's effectively one damage. One damage and one healing on somebody. Man, I would love to get like your reroll. So what are we doing? Four, we're doing five damage. And then we, oh, we have burst, so never mind, we're fine. We're fine. I was all prepared to like try to do math and figure all this out, but nah, it's easy. Okay. Else, if we have a blank side, we can shield one and cleanse somebody. I remember really liking else. I don't think we've seen Jester yet, have we? Jester is an interesting choice. We have seen it once, but we have not not taken it. So, a uh, reroll cantrip, a uh, single use mana gain, he has an evasion, three mana, and then flick. One damage, engage cooldown. So, if the target has full HP, he does two damage instead of one. He can only cast that once each turn, though. Uh, but he has a lot more stuff going on compared to last time, compared to the students. All right, War Chief is kind of nasty. He boosts everybody else's damage by one. Um, I 
That's probably fine. The shield is okay. I'd rather have damage. The plus one mana will let him flick for two. Against either the Warchief or one of the goblins. So that's probably fine. The Bloodlust one is fine. It'll hopefully be activated. I think that's good. So... If we flick first... I think we do it like that and protect the thief that way. I think that's good. I think that's good. I could be fishing for, uh, like, hero deaths, farming those up. We already did that once, though. I don't need to do it again. At least not right away. Okay. That was certainly an easy victory. Flare. Four mana for five damage. That's kind of cool. Plus one to any incoming shields. Flare's kind of cool, because if we spent four mana and did two bursts, that'd be two damage and two damage. So it's a little bit more efficient. Just put it on the Jester, why not? We don't have, like, a huge amount of mana gain. This is kind of a bummer, though. I don't like anything that we just rolled there. <laughs> um, we're probably going to have somebody die. Oh, jeez. I've got nothing from the wallop. That sucks. So we can kill one of the snakes. Yellow, blue, gray... An orange. I think I want to protect the thief, because the thief is like most of our damage right now. So let's kill this one. Um, we can even do three damage to one of these other snakes. It literally doesn't matter which one at this point. And then still finish you off. So we're losing the wallop, which is kind of a bummer. Maybe I should have kept the wallop alive because he could use his magic to keep other people alive too. Yeah, in hindsight, I probably should have done that. Well... Sadly, that doesn't do anything for you. And we have no cleanses. It doesn't really help either. We could, though. What if you get three mana? Yeah, okay. So we could flare. Do I heal the Jester or do I heal the Scrapper? The Scrapper's gonna take three poison, never mind. We heal the Jester. If we kill this guy, we save the thief, right? I think we have to. Let's fight seven. Oh, jeez. We still have one more before we get our thing. 
Um. Uh oh, we desperately need one point of damage. Okay, phew! <laughs> Thank goodness. Okay, all right. Hey, and we get to fight Bell. I like Bell. Trapper is very cool. The Guardian, I think, is good too, though. I'm gonna take the Guardian. Getting, like, actual useful shielding would be great. So how does this work? These are new. Deal three damage to all enemies and exert. Okay. And obviously it does more damage because of the single-use pip bonus thing that we've added. So it does damage, he can summon imps. Oh, and then his special effect. At the end of each turn, uh, all of the heroes take one damage, and the bell takes five. I feel like it used to have a lot more HP also. Maybe it's because we're encountering it like earlier in the run, or because we're on easy mode or something. Holy crap, the fanatic is doing so much damage to us. Um. <laughs> I don't think we can keep the Guardian alive at all. Man, I would love to get... Alright, hang on. Let's just assess this real quick. Uh, the cleave is maybe useful, just because we're all going to take one from the, the bell and his big old gong at the end of turn. Uh, but hypothetically, let's say that you get engaged for three. Or engage. If you get the, the shield single target for three. Come on. What you doing, dude? Here, don't stand on the keyboard. There you go. Whoops. Apologies, everyone. We have a we have a cat who just wants to know what's going on. What you doing, dude? Where are you going? Don't know. Heal for three. We can get two more shielding there, so that'd be five. We still need two more. We could boost one of those for an extra one, and the heal on the guardian. But if we don't get the one like the shielding from the thief, then it's kind of a moot point. I, yeah, I just I don't think we can get him. If we got if we got two mana, however, and can trigger circle, and he could self heal and shield himself for three, you would still need one more, or he would die. <laughs> I I think we just lose the guardian here. I I think we're just gonna lose the guardian here. I mean, that's one of the pieces we need to keep the Guardian alive. The other would be, like, one or more mana from the Jester, and he needs the yellow shield. Okay, alright, never mind. Never mind. I guess we're good. We somehow did it. I just, I want the fanatic to die, so we're just going to do that. I really wish I could have, like, oh no, he's going to summon more. I wish I could have, like, weakened him. We can do it now, but we lose our ability to heal. I really need the cleave shield from that guy. Oh, healing would also be great. I, I I have to do this. The fight's gonna get out of control if we let him summon two imps again. That's that's good. I think that's good. I think that does it. Oh, this is rough. <laughs> um, so we can flick at one of the imps. Uh, uh. I need to weaken you. 
if you, the Guardian is going to stay alive, which would be nice, he has to have the shield. We can kill... We're gonna, we're just, we're gonna rewind a little tiny bit here. That's happening no matter what. I'm gonna flick this one. I'm gonna take one reflected damage. So if I attack this imp with the scrapper, then the scrapper dies. So I guess that's going into the bell. Just the way it is. Okay, that's very nice to see. I like when that pays off. I don't like anything else that's going on here, though. Like, one mana for a flick? Ugh. Does not feel great. Uh, you would just die for hitting the imps, so that's also not helpful. All right, well, not great. <sighs> so we can keep three people alive somebody's gonna somebody's gonna die I guess we let the scrapper die no we have to let the thief or the fey die because they're the ones taking all the damage Ew, I don't like this at all. We'll do it that way. We'll play the odds. We'll we'll try to kill this one quicker knowing this one has already burnt one side. Okay, Bell is still gonna do damage to everybody once, but also we'll die this turn unless we just hit it for three. Which we could do. That's good. That's a lot of damage. And so blue, if we can kill Bell, which we have the damage to do, then blue is the only one who's going to take any damage from that imp. And it's poison, so it's kind of nasty. But if we can just kill the imp... Okay, just, we'll do that first. Um... I think we do it like this. Um, I guess that's one more damage, so I guess we're already good. Whew. Cast 300 spells. Wisp! Hooray! I'm familiar with those. Uh, oh, we get our blessing. All heroes start with two regen. That's insane. That's very good. All monsters get pain added to their left side. That's also really good. <laughs> as goofy as it is, the two regen kind of helps offset the plus one damage we're giving to all enemies. <laughs> it seems like kind of a waste of a blessing. Considering I caused the damage, the, the plus one damage to all, all enemy sides to happen in the first place. But our healing is not great right now, so I think I'm going to take that. <laughs> Blue heroes get plus two mana on the right two sides. Uh, so we would lose the Jester's like, evasion, but I think that's okay. Troll Nose normally I would think is like really good. But we already have one regen. Or we already have two regen on everybody. 
Um, I guess I'm just going to take any random tier 3 or 5. We got a 3. That's almost certainly never going to come into play, but... Who knows? Yeah. Kind of lame, but... Oh, well. That would be good. I really... I really would rather a thief, like, get the bow and arrow, but that's so unreliable. So what do we do? Open with Flick. Flick is very strong. Um, we can shield... Fay. So I don't worry about you. So we need to kill the one that's attacking Orange. It's a little spicy. You're taking a damage to do that, but seems worthwhile. Um, and then we have the poison coming in, and the poison is particularly nasty. So I'll weaken you. And there is just a certain amount of damage we can we can soak up because we have the two regen. That's very cool. Don't like that. I mean, like, that's good. We can just delete somebody. <coughs> that's probably fine. I really want mana for another flick. I mean, if you insist. <laughs> so the way Trio works is we need three dice in a row to have the same number of hips. So one was the first reroll cantrip, two was the second reroll cantrip, and then the third is going to be the trio. And when that happens, this gets a 3x. So it just goes from one to three, but that's still very good. So we could get six mana. There's no point in, like, turning this into six shielding, doubling it to 12, doing 13 damage to an imp. I mean, it... It feels satisfying to just, like, cream an imp like that. Just destroy it. But that's so, so much more overkill than we need. We'll do this instead. All right. <laughs> I forgot about the whole cantrip thing. Like, that just didn't even occur to me. That triggered trio. Juggler is, like, probably one of my favorites. This is new, though. Cantrip do one self-damage. Not really a fan of that. But I like everything else about Juggler. We're gonna go for Juggler. I like the Juggler, y'all. Juggler's pretty fun. Um. No, I guess we just let that sit. If there was a way to replace that, that'd be great, but. I don't think there is. Okay, so zombies. Um, this is kind of one of our few reliable ways to kill a zombie in one hit. So that's actually like a the engage shield and then the shield bash on the scrapper is actually like a really cool combo. How else would we do it? Like a flare, I guess? Because we have to do four damage to a zombie in a single burst of damage. If we want to 
force it to leave. Oh no! So none of that worked. <laughs> That's a bummer. Um. So this guy's gonna do nine damage in total. Three to three different people. That's a lot. We could also just kill the golem outright. But all of its damage is just gonna go to the scrapper, so I'm kind of not worried about you. I think we gotta take out the zombie. Hmm. Flick dramatically reduces the damage that guy's gonna do, so that's fine. Alright, we got one more Zambi we gotta kill. And the Golem, but like, honestly, our Juggler's doing a really good job of taking care of that one for us. Yeah. Yeah, don't mind if I do. Um... I would actually like to heal the Guardian. Okay, well that's useless. Um... You can circle you, but I don't think it matters. Maybe we just do this. Was that win 135 fights, level debug, and uh, 60 achievements got us something. 60 achievements unlocks two things. Tweak offer for normal 5% wild modifiers. Five percent wild modifiers. So I think that's the new like completely random keyword nonsense that's been added in this version. Yeah, so like curses and blessings, so like these are the some of the examples, but it's just like it's just making random things. Like these are just generated when I click this. So on the fourth turn, all monsters get uh, become toughened. It takes two damage to remove, two damage at a at, in like one single hit to remove one of these pips. That's nasty. So like this is just weird, nasty, random stuff that I think is being generated here. Yeah. So I think designed, I believe, I suspect, designed is stuff that the developer made using the system to sort of help indicate and help illustrate like what some of these crazy new capabilities are this is mostly tied to like the the modding api um yeah and this is changing every time we click in here so we're just getting like random moderator uh, modifiers and stuff but uh these all seem to be the same yeah basilisk slippery dice something that's locked huh all right um i'm gonna leave that on Seems good to me. Let's see if we start getting just completely random stuff. It, it's going to be just, you know, 5% chance. So just, you know, maybe once per run on average. Door. Plus two pips to all shield or self-shielding sides if there are four or more monsters. That's weird. Add range to all damage sides. We had this last time, didn't we? Or maybe not last time, but just in one of the other videos. That's very good. Range is very, 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 very good. I would actually love to have that again, but the door seems like it'd be kind of fun too. Because, <laughs> like, I mean, it's like massive overkill on one person, but if we were fighting like a boss or something, maybe that matters. Oh, but the shining bow is just like so good. It, this, it's just too good to pass up. This is such a good item. Uh, 
Alright. Oh, the carriers, that's right. So you're gonna do po two poison to everything. Two damage and two poison to everything. Oh, so that's just gonna kill the snipers too. Okay, I get it. Um, that's very good and hard to pass up. Um... That's a bummer. <laughs> Do I want... Do I want that? No, I think I'd rather have the other one. Okay, so we gotta use this first. So that's like infinite shield. <laughs> Ironclad. Shield a single hero for 10. Unlock an item. Quicksilver. Keep your unused shields. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, I guess we flick and then like burst to keep you alive. And you're doing three damage now, so we could kill either of those guys. What a what a silly thing! It it only hurts you. That's it. There's no other point to it. Alright. <laughs> well, <laughs> not that bad of a fight. I mean, we have Faye, and we could get Wizard, and we could do the whole, like, like, imagine, you know, getting a triple boost, and then boosting a wand, and then doing, like, four to somebody permanently, and, like, that's super cool, and it's kind of hard to pass up, but we already did that once. Like, I already did that once. And as fun as it was, like, we are on easy mode. I don't, like, need that to win, I don't think. Knock on wood. So we'll just go super boring and take the veteran instead. It's kind of lame, but... I just, you know, as much fun as that was to, to do, I, I have already done it. And I've only done, what, like four of these videos or something? So, we're just... Just gonna pass for now. Um... So you lower everybody's max HP by one each turn. The Fae is kind of going to be in a bit of trouble there. Um, actually, if we get your weakening dagger, that would be really good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for that because I don't want to be double poisoned on everybody. That's just kind of nasty. Man, we haven't even like seen the cleave shield at all, have we? That's good. Okay. Weaken you. That's very nice. Shield you. Keep you alive. Um, we can kill... The bones. We can kill this one also. I guess it literally doesn't matter what order I do this in. We'll do that because the Fey is shielded. Okay. Uh huh. Just big old chomp. Oh, heavy. Okay. Um, I guess I'm not too worried about that then. Three or four. Do I fish for a four? I, I'm going to be satisfied with a three. The shielding is also pretty nice. 
Um, I'm really hoping the cantrip just deals with that bones for us. Yes, just like that. Uh, I would love to get a boost on you. The triple boost would be nice. How greedy do I want to be? I don't want to be that greedy. Oh, our poor juggler. You just keep stabbing yourself. Um... The single flick is, like, not actually all that useful. I'd rather get two. I'm just gonna hold on to that for now. I'd love to be able to flare this guy, but also, like, it might just be dead here because of all the juggling. Between the Jester's reroll cantrip and the Juggler's, like, everything cantrips. Okay, not that one. <laughs> Stop it. Stop hitting yourself. Yeah, that's good. That's fine. That's a flare. That's a lot of damage. So let's do some of this. Perfect. A tie. Add pristine to the middle side. Does double damage if I have full HP. Vigil to all sides. Plus one pit for each defeated ally. I don't ever like banking on losing allies unless we've got some weird nonsense build with like the Valkyrie or something. which we don't currently have. So. Two acts if I have full HP. So probably not for the juggler. I don't think the guardian really gets much out of it. The jester, maybe we'd get two rerolls every time it comes up. I think either the fey for doing a, a double weakening. That's really strong. That's really strong. Um, or the veteran for eight damage on occasion. Our healing is not amazing. I mean, that's still like that's that's unbelievably good. If we can actually get that to happen, that's so good. <laughs> we got it. First try. Oh, I'm so good at this game. Oh my gosh. And we can add three to it before it gets doubled, so we're, we're adding six more to that. So, uh, what, 14 damage? That's such unnecessary overkill against a bunch of gnolls, but... I, I'm gonna boost somebody else so that they can, like, one-shot one of the other gnolls, but, like, you know, the option's there. <laughs> Um, we could flick a null for two damage, which would just effectively do one damage to it. Uh, again, we fought nulls before, but just in case you don't remember, uh, they reduce all incoming damage by one, which is annoying. So do I just keep the two? I think I do. Then we can guaranteed kill one of the nulls with the boost. That is, like, the worst-case scenario. Um, okay, so we have to kill... Man, this feels so bad to do. We have to kill you. And we sadly cannot take out the two that are protecting the pristine effect on the veteran. bummer, but it is completely unnecessary for this fight. It's more of a useful uh, boss killer thing. So protect the Jester, that seems okay. Or the Jester could protect himself. I don't know what else you would do. I'd rather get mana from the Jester. That's good. Um, that finishes off one of the gnolls. 
The weakening won't do damage, but I, I believe it will still lower somebody's uh, output by one. Does that matter? I don't think so. I'd rather have like a boost or something. All right, well, we didn't get it. <laughs> um. I'm gonna just save up for a flare. If we can get one more mana, we can just annihilate one of these gnolls. That's good. That's very good. That's incredibly good. That's bad. <laughs> uh, it, I mean, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because we do that, and then we do that. Stoic. Or the Plague Doctor. Oh, and there's a caw egg? Ew. <laughs> they have plus one to all their pips, so they summon two caws. They're twin eggs. Oh, no. That's very bad. Um... I actually kind of like the Plague Doctor, just for funsies. The Fey is really, really, really good, but I'm going to take the Plague Doctor, because I don't think we've taken the Plague Doctor before. Trio to whatever's on the far right. And we only have one hero who even has anything on the far right, so it's... It's kind of useless to us. Because the veteran's full, and I don't really want to change anything. And uh, we're not really using that shield all that often. We're just having, like, terrible luck with the items on this run. We're just getting lots of, like, really non-useful items. Also, what level are we on? 14. Okay, so that kills a Kaeg. That's good. Everything else that's going on here is very bad, though. <laughs> Um, I guess I want mana from you right now. That's good. That'll keep somebody alive. So this is the effect that's on the, uh, the carrion enemies. Do one damage to all heroes and all monsters and also inflict one poison on everybody. Uh, good for, like, long grindy fights. Decent AoE for if we got, like, a whole host of enemies. Uh, and then also, like, our regen helps offset that. And that's why the, the doctor himself has a bunch of regen. Or herself. Um, and that's what liquor is for, is to remove all the poison that we're building up on ourselves. But I don't really want to do it in this fight. Oh, so you can protect yourself or the juggler. We can do four damage. This just sucks. This just sucks real bad. Um, I kind of want to keep the juggler alive. I feel like I just have to deal with that cog. <laughs> So I know these guys are going to hit really freaking hard, and we just don't have any shielding at all now, but uh, that's really nice, and then we can probably stun you now. Um, that's probably fine. Maybe I do, I don't know, maybe we just reroll the Jester forever. Maybe that should be my heuristic. Because getting that reroll would be really nice. Uh, let's just take some damage on you. 
We're we're getting three, so we have enough to flare somebody. I feel like I'd be a fool not to make use of that. So there we go. He's been stunned. Um, I'd rather just like wear this one down as much as we can. He's almost dead. Because then we still have the stun to save for this Cyclops. And you're almost dead. Which is very cool. Um, okay, well, <laughs> oh, Jester. All right, perfect. And I know we're still playing on easy mode. It's, uh... You know, I'm having fun here. <laughs> I like that I'm having to think a little bit, but not, not too much. So pairs like Trio, but it's 2x. If, you, if you're using something that has the same number of pips as the thing immediately used prior. Which we can maybe make work still? I don't know where it would be most useful. Maybe on the doctor? Maybe on the jester? I don't know. I mean, like, second chance on jester or somebody would be really good. Yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, Hydra has to be hit five times. Demon... These have to be removed by dice damage. Which means no, like, spells won't remove those, but the cantrip should. Which would be very nice. Um, five hits against the Hydra in one turn is... In theory, something we could do with, uh... With our cantrips. Which would be really cool if we actually got that to work. You gotta, like, hit the Hydra, though. That's the caveat here. <laughs> you gotta hit the Hydra with it. Uh, I mean, I kind of want to re-roll the... Veteran. Okay, so that was two. So that's three. That's four. I mean, we, like, we could flick it for five, right? Kind of save the bulk of our, our good stuff here. Yeah, I like that. I am just going to burst it one more time also, because there's a, a entirely reasonable chance that it, it just runs away. Um, that we kill it with cantrips is what I was going to say, but that, that also works. Yo, the prince. We haven't even seen the prince before. Weaver is kind of cool. Plus zero mana, but it's charged, so it gets plus one pip for each stored mana. So basically just double our mana. Um, Crush is a really cool spell, and pretty good. I like the Weaver, but Prince, what do you do? Three damage, Inspired. Does double damage if the previous heist this turn was higher. Yo, that goes well with, like, our Veteran. Shield three duplicates, so copy this onto all of the other sides for everybody else this turn. And then heal and shield three. Unite. It costs... Uh, do 15 damage? Holy moly. It costs a damage pip, a shield pip, a heal pip, and a blank side. So if we get his shield and heal side, and anybody else rolls a blank, cough, cough, jester, looking at you, then we could have effectively turn a damage side into 15 damage. So we would spend three sides to do 15 damage, so we'd, we'd be averaging like five damage a side. That's pretty good. That's better than what the veteran can do um, if we ignore the pristine effect. Hmm. Um, 
The question is, do we get more mileage out of having these two sides be blank? Or putting, like, the sword and shield on, on the top and bottoms here? <coughs> I'm going to leave them blank. Let's see how this goes. And then Tarantus is just going to eat the juggler halfway through this fight. Kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. Oh, and you are going to summon so many damn spiders. Um, This is one of those fights where the poison thing would be pretty good, I think. Oh, cool. Like, they light up as we, as we get the different sides, so I can see that. I really want that big, super pristine hit. That'd be so neat. Wouldn't that be neat? Didn't get it. This kind of sucks, actually. <laughs> um. Oh. I think we just kill the two that are going to be inflicting poison. And again, like, keep in mind, this is a war. Oh my gosh, that's a billion damage. How do we deal with that? <laughs> uh... <coughs> so keep in mind, this is a war of attrition. If we can just burn all of Tarantus' sides, then, like, the boss can't do anything to us. However, uh... That's a lot of damage. That's 13 damage coming in. We need... Yeah, and it's unrealistic to just try to, like, kill the boss. Ugh, but I want to kill these damn spiders, too. This is rough. What you doing, little kitty cat? On the other hand... We have enough that we could cast Unite. 15 damage. We'll drop Tarantus down to having, what, like six left? And he would just kill the juggler in that one go and then we would lose the juggler, but we would lose them either way, and this this bite attack doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't get redirected. I don't know what we do about the jester. So the jester would need... You would have to roll, like, your save yourself button. Or the, uh, the re-roll? Yeah, because we could shield you with the veteran, and then, uh reobtain that for the Unite. Come on. Oh, alright, well, we're losing the Jester also, which is a bummer. As your own fault. You know what? You just, uh, you just let yourself die. It's your own fault. I kind of feel bad for you, but it's just, it's just it's your own fault. You shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't have done that to yourself. So now we're in a bit of a pickle. That's good though. That okay, so we can just kill the boss then. That's what that means. Alright, never mind. We're fine. Um yeah, that's really fine. So if we take out one of the spooters. Oh, right. Do this one first. <laughs> yeah, that's very good. Okay. 
Like, we could burst the spider that is not doing anything, but it's not doing anything. So let's save the burst. And then can we just basically get that exact same turn again? Three, that kills something. I, like, I'd kind of rather have mana from you. And you're just doing nothing. Yeah, alright, well... Phew. Alright, we did it. <laughs> hey, and we get wisps! They just... We just unlocked them, and here they are. Iron Crown. Gray heroes only, plus four pips to the left side. I mean, then it will just always do seven, and we will never, ever get the uh, the doubling effect. But doubling effect only kicks it up to six. That's just so good. That's so good. Add rainbow to the middle. Plus one pip for each keyword on this side. So that has one keyword. That has two. So you get plus two, and then it would be doubled. So that would kick you up to uh, 12 damage. But we can't have three items on you, so never mind. Um, plus one on the cantrip. Like, that's something. Uh, Iron Crown is just, like, so good, though. Okay, so the Wisp. What does the Wisp do? Uh, summon some bones. Self heal for vitality, so it boosts its max HP. This is a new effect, by the way. They did not used to do this before. Um, self heal four, vitality, and single use. So it would only be self heal three with vitality normally. Uh, and then this is what inflict pain. That's nasty. Um, and then when we break their middle HP, then uh, we gain one mana. I mean, like, that's such unnecessary overkill, but, like, I'll take it. <laughs> and we can reuse it, so that's perfect. This will let me heal the Jester or the Juggler. I love something useful. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. So we can just kill several of these things. I would like to protect blue. So we probably kill this wisp. That's the only thing attacking blue. We could also just heal blue and just let it go. We'd have the inflict pain to deal with, but eh. Then we gotta deal with the sniper that's targeting you. So, you're the only one who can hit a sniper, so we'll just do that. I really want to not have a lot of bones in this fight. That would actually be really annoying to deal with, so I am just going to take out both of these wisps. We can just do one of these. That's fine. We have a flare. Or we could liquor Jester, and then that would ignore the uh, inflict pain effect, I believe. Yeah, you're still gonna take a damage here, but that's that's really good. All right. Don't mind if I do. Sadly, we cannot, like, flare the snipers on the back line or anything. I guess I could have just killed it and then not had to worry about it inflicting pain in the first place. I don't know why I, I didn't do that. My brain was just like, oh, you should just, like, use the liquor instead. But, eh, whatever. I mean, it's, it's all gonna work out. <laughs> I'm not too concerned. Hmm. <coughs> 
so unnecessary, but it's really fun. Splattered. Overkill an enemy by 10 plus. Obsidian Edge, that's so good. Triple the pips of all damage sides. That's a level 17 item. Hold, I don't even know how you get one of those. <laughs> Venom was fun. Venom with the Doctor is really interesting, too. That's really, really interesting. The Artificer is also kind of interesting. I'm really, really, really enjoying the juggler. It's just like, I don't even have to think about this character. Like we literally just re-roll until we're done and then a whole bunch of extra damage has been inflicted. The venom is like really interesting too though. Let's take the artificer. I don't think I've taken the artificer yet, right? Venom, we've taken the one other time we've seen them. Artificer is blue. That's the wizard. There's the artificer. Yeah, we've seen them show up once. We've not taken them. So I'll take the artificer now, just for the sake of using a character we haven't seen before. Um, I guess that'll go on you. Maybe that also goes on you. Yeah, we're just rolling you down until we're done, so that seems fine. Um... I mean, we're never going to get two tens to triple the 10 to 30. <laughs> it's just, it's literally just not ever going to happen. We don't even have that capability right now, but we can, we can pretend. Uh, okay. Yeah, uh, that's kind of nasty. These demons are just nasty. I really need like your pristine super hits. I guess I should look at what the artificial sides actually do. So, massive, massive heal. Two damage, poison, single use. Uh, four mana on each of those, single use. Everything is single use. That's the whole artificer's whole gimmick. Um, does two damage, it's charged. So, if we are holding a bunch of mana, that's really nice. Um, obviously, single use. And then uh, three damage, but a self heal. So, you got some decent damage. We just also have a lot of, like, single-use things. Um, yeah, I think we just re-roll everything here. That's good. That's very good. So I think the 7 is going to double to 14, <laughs> I think, when the veteran hits something. I think that's gonna do that. We're gonna find out. But I do think that's how that's gonna work. So let's get that first. Uh, I mean, we can just kill this demon also, which is really neat. Um, I would need to burst before I did that. Or blades blades won't do anything to this guy yeah we'll, we'll just we'll burst we'll be conservative with our man our, uh, our stuff here so now you're dead uh yeah that's 14 damage this is a giant green bar i like seeing that <laughs> um actually you're gonna do three damage to everybody but you're gonna just be annoying <laughs> inflict pain and you're killing the doctor, so I think we just kill you instead. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> this is so stupid, I love it. <laughs> Veteran and the Prince, huh? What a wild combination. Uh, like, that's enough to just kill.
that's kind of just funny too. Oh no, everybody's been poisoned. Alright. Feels good. Troll Nemesis, we've killed ten trolls, we get a troll blood. Which is start with two regen. Angel Feather, I had to rescue to the top and bottom sides. I have Horus plus one pip to everything. I have Horus is very, very good. Oh man, imagine that on the juggler. Doing so much damage sometimes to themselves. <clears throat> Rescue on the top and bottom doesn't really do much. Maybe for the doctor. I think I'd rather just have the Eye of Horus though. That's very, very, very strong. That's just kind of funny. Um, Maybe to you. Five mana, three poisoning. I, that, that might be better. I know we would get more mileage out of our juggler, but our juggler is also uh, extremely fragile. I'm just going to get that off. It's completely pointless to have that on anybody. Yeah, three self-harms and you're, you're toast, so we'll just do it like this. This is good. I feel better about the Artificer now. I don't usually like taking the Artificer just because the number of times I've gotten, like, you know, use one item and then you just keep rolling that same side over and over again, doing nothing for the rest of the fight. It's so annoying. Um, okay, this is a little spooky. I think, more than anything, I would love to just get poison. We got none poison. So we gotta reduce the damage that the prince is taking. I would also love to reduce the damage that the veteran is taking. Not getting any boosted damage out of this, but I just want to minimize the damage the veteran's taking. Because that pristine blade would still be really nice to get. And then our completely busted regen is just keeping everybody alive. This is this is quite the easy mode run, that's for sure. Um Yeah, like just any damage is fine. The reason I would love to get poison is because poison would just kill them. I <laughs> wouldn't have to like do any of this stuff. But we're not getting that. I would really like to get mana from you. Let's see if we can get any mana. Or poison. That's also very good. Okay. Well, the mana thing didn't work out. So that just shuts down your ability to do damage. Um, oh, that doesn't even solve that problem. Hang on. <laughs> I'm misreading the situation. I just assumed that all other sides were, uh, were like the steel shield bash. But that is not the case at all. Uh, okay. I do want to reduce this guy's damage, so we are going to start with that. And I do want to keep you alive, so we'll get that in there too. And we are just absolutely going to reuse that no matter what. So this is kind of our starting point. So what do we do here? Uh, we can do 10 damage. So we can just like kill this guy. That keeps the Artificer alive. Yeah, let's just do that then. Alright, I just had to like think through that. I don't see anything else that'd be better. Uh, a three damage would kill like one of these guys. 
The seven would kill this guy. Maybe that's better, because we can kill two instead of only one. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. Oh, my brain's turning to mush. I've been playing this game for a while now. We're almost done, though. What are we on? Like, 19? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, poison does just solve one of our problems. Okay. Alright. So we just poison that guy and he's just, just toast. Don't even have to worry about him anymore. Um, gotta deal with you too. Cool. Six regen. That's absurd. <laughs> okay. The hand. What do you even do? All heroes. Plus one pips. Oh, we have fought the hand before. Yeah, you just kill somebody. Summon four sabers? Jeez. Quad use, inflict pain. Shifter. A random extra keyword that changes each turn. And these just do a ton of damage and also can just, like, self-destruct for a lot of damage. This is going to be a nasty fight. Yeah, and I don't really want any of these. All right. <laughs> we just... Most of our items were useless on this run, but that's okay. We have a kind of an overpowered blessing, and the prince is really, really strong as well. So 10 damage to each of the sabers. I don't like that we don't have our cantrips anymore. Evil. If this saves a hero, I die. <laughs> what? <laughs> what even is this? That's bizarre. We all get plus one pip to all of our sides because he's a samurai. He's honorable. He wants to give us an advantage because he thinks we're going to need it. Um... Like, I'd much rather have one of those. This is okay. Man, if we got that pristine one, though, that'd be so good. Let's keep fishing. Let's see what else we can get here. Okay, evil again. We're just, we're having, like, such terrible luck with our rolls. Okay, I mean, we can, we can do, uh... 12 damage in one hit. That seems pretty good. He's going to summon so many more of these damn swords. So we have to kill this one to keep our... Uh, our agent alive. So let's start with that. I think we just hit... we got to kill these sabers. We have to. The hand is going to be, like terrifying to deal with, but he's kind of just going to burn himself out. At least that's the hope. And then we can one-shot that saber. That felt okay. Let's just do that again every turn. Oh, so many more of these stupid knives! Oh, and that nasty poison? I don't like this at all. So what on earth do you have? Plus, other keywords see colored four as a five. Picky, target must have exactly four HP. All right, well, I don't want those. Um... We kind of need the mana. Because I think we need to fire off two cleanses. So the Prince, the Doctor, and the Artificer are all getting poisoned. So if we do this... 
You can preemptively cleanse off the poison. For two of us. If I do this, we can get it on all three of us. Do I want to do that? Not really. Don't know what other choice we have, really. Um, shield forward duplicate. So we could just throw down a bunch of shields on folks. I would really, really, really much rather... Okay, we're gonna reroll orange, we're gonna reroll yellow. Um, I'd much rather just like kill something. The best defense is a good offense and all that. We could inflict pain on one of these and then they'll just like kind of self-destruct. They're gonna have one HP, which is annoying. Yeah, let's risk it. I think I do want the regen. That's a bummer. Well... We want the mana for sure. Example, if we do that, uh, the problem is the sabers. They are doing so much damage. So if we if we go like this, it just saves the veteran. The doctor's the one who's dying here. We just don't have any damage. So we could do eight damage to something. I just gotta like work through this. There's gotta be a way to keep everybody alive, right? Hopefully. Like five damage is good, but that's not enough. Two damage to everybody is like, that's something, but it's not enough. Ideally, we would kill like so what? So what else could we do, like shield-wise? I th so okay. Let me let me go back to this idea, because um, I think we could go like two, four, six, for example, and then use this, and then yeah, we still get one more use out of that. Okay, so that's a way to like get six damage, and sort of cheese the thing. Does six damage matter? Not like on its own. We could double burst somebody? So we could take out one of these. Okay. I am now wishing that I had kept the extra mana instead of the regen for the doctor, but that's all right. So we're gonna have three shieldings for four. So shield you once, shield you once, shield the agent once maybe. You're good, although you're still poisoned. The doctor will need to be cured of poison. So I think there's no way out of this without curing the doctor poison. Oh, and that's still not going to be enough, though. We're going to have to burst the doctor or kill this one right here, which we can't quite do. I'm putting all my, my efforts into lowering this one's health because these three are all going to be exerted and they're not going to be able to do anything next turn. Oh, is that better than the regen? I think I want the regen on the prince. And 
and then we'll do a burst to save you. Yeah, because the cleanse doesn't do anything. Okay. Okay, this is uh, this is gonna be a rough one. This is gonna be a rough fight. The hand is just a nasty boss, and I've kind of been uh, picking things willy nilly. Green blood. Have five plus poisoned on an ally. Start poison, but also all the monsters start poisoned. Huh. Okay, that's very very good. You're not doing. Oh my gosh, this is so good. This is so good for us. That's very good. Okay. Getting poison on the boss seems really, really good. This is a tough choice now. I think we have to do this. I do also think we do this. Five regen, five poison. I'd love to get the poison off the prince. Also, five regen, five poison. Do I want three mana? Do I want to do five damage? I think just the five damage. And I'm gonna sink it into this top saber because it hasn't take it hasn't like lost any of its sides yet. There's a slim chance that these guys are going to be able to not do anything. Okay, I don't know how we survived the fireball. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think we lived through this. I don't think we lived through this one, y'all. Man, imagine if we could get a double unite, though. Um, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't think we're living through this. How much freaking damage is that? 13? So we have to kill both of these. Priz Wish. 4x if both Pristine and Death Wish are met. That's wild. So you're at full HP, but you're going to die this turn? <laughs> First, if no other dice have been used, it gets double damage. If we could get that, that'd be really good. Also, if we get that, that's only 8. This is just also 8 by itself, so... <laughs> it's, it's kind of a moot point. Never mind. We'll just take this one. Uh, eight. So we can we can deal with either of these two. So that's something. Uh, how much damage is this? Nine. That's just that's like way too much. Um, I guess our only real hope here is to get that mana. I mean, we could save two people with that much mana. That would be eight. So we could, like, save the veteran, maybe? Or come close to it? Come close to it. We're not quite there. Honestly, the damage on yellow is probably more useful than anything else at this point. Yeah. 
Ooh. That's awful. Oh, that's like the worst outcome. Okay, well, with eight, we can take out one of these guys. So let's just do that. With eight, we can take out the other one. We can do that. He can fully heal, and we just don't have enough. We just didn't quite have enough. I mean, you know, I took a lot of a lot of characters I wouldn't normally take. I was kind of clowning around a little bit. The plus one to every enemy pip. Yo, we got 75 deaths. That's cool. Um, the plus one to all enemy pips was cool. Uh, it certainly made the fight a lot more challenging, but I, I think that's kind of what did us in towards the end there. Um, that and just taking some weird hero choices, but... Hey, you know, you can't win them all. Um, that was still really fun. And, you know, you could see even easy mode, you still have to look at the dice and the heroes and just so random. So much random. Um, gave it my best. Eh, there you go. We'll have to do another easy run at some point and see if I can finally beat it. <laughs> uh, have a good night, everyone. May the grace of the Twilight Dragon be with you.